no. Well, right now we have to see that happening from the side of Toda. They need to dance around the map, avoid any Why kind of crazy because they're salt fishes. Salt Toda fishes, bro. Ah. Fish. Yeah, so dancing fishes. There, there, there probably is, a, is an episode in SpongeBob where fishes are of early engages if the Roger comes in, run away from the Roger because predators are not legends. good. All right, well, let's get straight into the land of dawn here. LaFell, all right, let's see if the fishes can dance here in the game going up against Navi with this composition. Three winning lanes, I'm just gonna say it. Three winning lanes, not even just three winning lanes, they have the jungle as well controlled with the Roger. So it is going to be extremely hard. Again, Toda already going for some aggressive trades here in the early stage in that mid lane. Surprisingly, winning it out with the Lunox just sustaining. They have to force it, that's their main uh, strength here. And now look at this Little Wanderer contest. It's Yum's Moon and Chiku, guys. Who's gonna get it? It's gonna go over Ooh. to the side of Todak, but they're gonna blast out Moon here. He gets the flicker in, but he's not gonna survive for long. First blood drawn here by Sunset Lover, brought to you by Razor. Oh man, again, Roger. I've mentioned this so many times, but that is all you need on the Roger. Getting the first blood so early on and now be pushing that pace, already getting the turret gold hit. This is not looking good because as a Roger oh. player myself, oh my God. And in the top side, as I said, three winning lanes. Three winning lanes is an understatement, like you say, from side of Navi. They're doing very good. Toda still not showing signs of fear, engaging on his battles around with the minions as well. But again, if Toda is able to slow down the game enough, if they are able to capitalize on mistakes coming in from Navi in terms of maybe overcommitting, then maybe they can do something about this. Well, let's see. Now he already planning Ooh. for a dive. No, not a dive. This is what Onyx ID did. They are just going to go for the turret here with Sunset Lover Ball roaming to the bottom side. Very, very smart maneuver as that has gotten them the 400 gold lead now. And it's just going to grow ever yeah. so slightly because Sunset Lover picked up that crab coin. This is uh, Kiko Guy starting up the turtle already off camera. Not the Pinchere about to go for the rotation. Mm -mm -mm. Don't go for this. At less than half. Yeah, they're not armed don't, for don't, this don't, at don't. all. Even if Yumes helps side. out. Yeah, they're gonna get blasted and they're smart enough to back off. And still Sunset Lover is gonna go. It's so hard to punish Navi with this kind of lineup. It's not hard. It's impossible to punish them in the early stage. What Todak needs to do is completely Blue just play it passive. Respond to the enemy proactive movements because if you try to be yeah. proactive, you're just gonna get hit, all right? Navi, they can just literally follow you everywhere and you are not gonna be able to do anything. So the right move oh, here no. is wait. Oh, that's gonna oh. be a few hits. Oh, oh. Mama that's takes him down insane. with the help of Kiko, guys. As the Popolin Koopa catches three blasts of the Mountain Shocker. That was surprising because, again, I thought he was the one that got caught. But right now, Moon is there. He still has the brilliance, so he should be okay. Right now, Toda, they're playing quite okay. Being under by 300 is not the worst case situation. Even if they're under by 2,000, I would still argue yeah. that it's still a winnable situation. As long as they still have turrets on the board, the kills really don't matter, right? Toda can, honestly, Navi can have the 8,000 gold lead, sure, whatever, if. As long as Todak still has those turrets to play on, still has that defense just scaling it up oh, right oh, now as oh. roaming. Three man kill squad. They catch Sawa with the Holy Baptism, raining down the damage. Yeah. Moon gets a kill. There's a bite by Lil. As <laughs> Lover is jumping on the three. Look at Nagi from the back line. Too much. No, 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 no. no. Down goes Momo. Lil gets the kill. And Momo and Yum's running for their life. Brilliant's not going to be enough to save him. Moon's going to bite it as well. No. Oh, he survives. No. A misplay wow. by Nagi. Nagib, he let go for a second, slept on it, and Moon walks away. Uh, do not, do not underestimate this Roger, man. Even if it's low HP, that low HP Red is very deceiving because once he does his like and pounds, if he gets the kill, then that's going to be a huge turnaround. This Roger is looking very strong. But again, Navi only managing to get a 1,000 lead there. Yep, looking at the top lane, Chico guys and Forme is looking to mirror down bottom, but it's not enough. The rotational speed from Navi, way too fast, and Defender just too confident in what he can do. He knows that these two can't kill him, so he stayed the course. Now Forme is going to get caught here in this jungle. There, He's baiting, obviously he's baiting, because look over Yumes and Moon is. There's the flicker already used up, holy healing. We're backing out, Black Shoes used here by Nagib as they poise up for the second turtle. Beautiful control from Na'Vi, able to zone away the opponents, and you can see the, the, the shot the selection by Na'Vi, all right? They didn't just target one member, they went for everyone. Moon tried to go in, it's gonna be Elil zoning him away. When Yums tried to save him, everyone just pushed 
pushed in, and that was just Toda zone away from the turtle before it even happened. Yep, they make good fights and they choose their fights. Right now, Mountain Shocker set in by Chiku guys, so they know exactly where everyone is. And here's a little bit of silver lining for Toda. They have the vision game on point. So no matter how aggressive Navi is, you can't say Todak didn't see that coming. So yeah, they have to be able to use that advantage to kind of slow down Navi's role. Okay. Yeah. As long as Team Toda, they can see the, the rotations coming in from the side of Navi, they can play the Silence very, very well because right now it looks like that is their, their main plan. Try to get a lot of goal coming in from the minions over here. Chiku guys is basically staying in four minutes lane, getting shared experience as well as gold. And right now Navi, they're going at mid and Moon. Oh, nice up. Moon with the AoE damage on the Brilliance. Defender jumps in. Yums still alive. Can Defender get one more chance oh. in? Not gonna happen. Defender really low. They're backing out. Najib getting blasted. He does not have his ulti. Uses the Purify. Gets taken down by Moon. Defender falls as well. Traded off for Chiku. And that's gonna be two for one. Sunset Lover. He's not done. He takes down Momo, he's running away. Four Rings wants to put a few on the edges on him. Backline down goes Yums. Lil gets a bite. Does he want Moon? He doesn't. That's gonna be two. Still left standing on the side of Todak. Navi winning eventually. Oh man, that's again the problem with uh, this Roger. It's oh. gonna be him just giving on. He's gonna go, keep on going here. And that's me maybe a mistake from the side oh. of Moon. Oh, so oh. Like a boss, the punish by Chiku. My god, Chiku with a well-timed stun there. That was beautiful to watch. Even though you saw Sunset Lover, he tried to dodge it with a like and bounce. Just beautiful timing, honestly. Yeah, skateboard, traceless. You don't usually see it coming. Right now, Momo is going out and Nagib. Oh! Nagib gets taken down. Not a chance to use the black shoes. So far, Toda has not allowed Navi to get more than 1,000 gold. And now they're really rushing on this turtle. And it looks like they're going to take it, no problem. Red team has slain Ooh, the turtle. Man. Not just Vincere Red with the early lead destroyed. right now, but it is Todak equalizing in terms of the kills and on the board as well. It is just for Mezno getting caught. He's fine, uses the Cyclone Eye, still baiting. Again, there he was hesitant. He's like, okay, do I do Uranus things or is it too early for me? I don't know. Right now, M3 is really giving a montage of heroes because again, Uranus as well, like like we'll say, that's like, oh, probably beats your hero, but now it's really raising up in ranks and it's looking very, very strong. M3, maybe a lot of heroes are really showing up. Oh, look, 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 look. Four base is buying time. Oh. It's two members here, Sunset Lover and Defender. Oh. Defender taking down here comes Chico guys to the rescue. Eventually they get one, Uranus falls. And Lil forces out Moon with the order oh. of brilliance. But here comes Sunset Lover. He's not done. Shut down on the Lunox. Yum's gonna follow up. He gets a triple. Okay, we got we gotta say we don't don't underestimate this. Roger. Roger's going up against the East and Shin. Oh, he's not done. He wants more. Like and bounce onto the East and Shin. Defender helps out the tail end of that fight. But Chico guy survives. I'm kind of a Roger player myself, man. And looking at this, that was just Red disgusting. He was um he was a very, very low, jumped on to Chiku guys, took everything from him to get away from that. And honestly, at this point, I told you one kill is all the Roger needs to get that snowball going. It looked like Todak have equalized, but they went too Red much in. Turret that overcommitment from Todak, that's not what you want. You need to keep on scaling until you hit those three item power spikes. Yeah, right now, speaking of three item power spice, let's look at Moon. He only has two items right now. Clock of Destiny as well as Mighty Trunch on the side of Chiku, guys. He has a War Axe. He has the Blade of Despair. Very, very expensive itemization over here. But right now, Yums is getting targeted. Oh, Black Shoes by Nagib. I mean, that's how he bought the damage onto Yums. He kind of overextended there. But down bottom, I don't, I'm not liking what Formi is doing here. Dueling against Defender. And here comes Lil. There's a stun. Alpha Wolf form. Arr, biting down on the Uranus. I didn't know that dogs can bite down on steel and stone like that. Koopa is a different beast, man, all right? Back in Indonesia, we call him Popo and Kabe <laughs> because oh, that's, just a, that's just a meme right yeah, there. That that is meme, yeah. Just oh. a jokey joke, the just a jokey joke. But Turtle will be slain right here, presented to you by the Singapore Treasure Board as Boon jumps in very aggressively. What was that? What a counter goal, look at this! Yum is gonna bite it! Lil gets one more! Lil, this is so uncharacteristic of this gold laner because he's been ahead this whole time and forcing out the Order of Brilliance. There's Moon, he's running for his life. Momo putting down the Thorn of oh, our memory. Memory, taking down Defender on the way, one for one. Right oh. over the side of Toda, they have the damage, but they have oh. to make sure that they take care of the Sunset Lover because who has the crowd control to take this wolf down? No one. At this point, 3,000 gold lead. Look at the turrets, look at the pressure they're putting on the map as four mates get chunked low. Sunset Lover, he jumps in. Oh my god. Moon a little too overconfident. The sun sets on him. 
But there's a shutdown by Four Maze as well. But they trade out in the end. Three, four, two. Long haul trade here. Going on no, the side. Oh, no, no, no. But Nagi blasts one on the way back. It's a double kill for the young gun from Navi. Man, Nagib has just been performing out of his mind here. Right now, he's 4-2-4, four, and four, and look at how he's kiting, baiting away as Defender oh. comes in for the Falling Star Moon back at it again. But what we do need to put on this, what do we what, what do we need to uh, focus on right now is Navi's gold lead. It went to 3k, back to 2k, and now it's at 1.7k because they keep on looking oh. for these crazy fights on the board. Toad up, they find their comfort in these crazy brawls. That's what Nath has been said, don't want to do. Lydia right now is looking a pretty beastly because again, on the side of Toda, they have eyes for opportunity. They saw that as like, oh yeah, we could probably get more kills over here and then probably take a push. But when Nagi was hiding around, that was a lot of damage. Let's see. Let's see what happens because right now, with the gold lead, with the turrets that they have, they can make more oh. plays on the board and get exactly that. Sunset Lover 1v1 kill against four oh, no. in another front. There's another team fight happening. Lil goes down, traded out for Moon. Yum's gonna fall as well. Nagib gets the double there, and Sunset Lover converges with his team in mid as they open up this Lord take 11 minutes in. That was beautiful by Na'Vi. I said it myself, the gold lead not that big anymore, but they play it perfectly once again. Sunset Lover with the unexpected movement going to the bottom side where Lord was up and just baiting the fights to happen. He went, killed four maze, and it was just GG from there. Na'Vi with the lead were able to pick up the kills and Chiku, guys, trying to look for the trades, but now he's getting collapsed on. Momo waiting in the wings. Defender looking low. Chiku, guys, it's a 1v1 kill and that tier 2 turret take. Do not count out Chiku guys just yet. That ballsy move from down bottom, pushing it all the way, was what Todak needed to maybe get back. But here we go. Sunset oh. Lover fights back, jumps on the moon, takes down the Lunox like oh, that. No. And he's hunting them down. Yum's looking low. He's hunting down Momo as well. 3v1 on this Roger Sao, trying to help his jungler. And Lil now biting back, stunning Chiku guys. The damage is too strong from this Popoli Koopa. Survives off the holy healing. They're able to retreat. Four is turn to take a lot of damage. Even underneath his turret, he's not going to be safe from the Roger. Oh my lord, this Roger, you can see he took everything in the kitchen sink and he was still alive. This is the insane sustainability of this hero, the tankiness. Yeah, and speaking of sustainability, this might be a situation where for me, he might regret getting that flicker. Perhaps it's better for him to take that purify because the crowd control coming in from his Popa Koopa is not cool. Oh, too much. Oh, they're going in deep. Lil takes down Moon underneath the third. Torn apart memory, not enough. Momo falls. Sunset Lover gets one. It's just what? two guys left. Double kill for Sunset Lover. As in a flash, they take the base. They're sitting at match point. Navi, 2-0. Match point for Navi. The underdog story. Is this another Burmese goals in the making? Yeah, again, we talked about this. When Navi gets the momentum, somehow 